In December of last year, TikTok released an unfinished version of TikTok Live Studio seemingly by mistake. This allows people to stream games and higher quality chatting streams from their desktops directly to the TikTok platform. TikTok has since taken it down, but I've managed to find a copy of it and we'll have a look at it to see exactly what TikTok has in store for us. First and foremost, I want to say that this version is currently unable to stream to the platform as of yet. For now, it just says Studio is currently unavailable. Nevertheless, let's get into it. Opening the program for the first time greets us with a nice animated logo, letting us know what program we're using, then opens up to a login prompt. Simple login process, just type in your credentials or use the app and scan the QR code. Very simple so far. We are then greeted by a very clean yet simple looking setup screen. We have a couple different options to choose from. The first and will most likely be the most commonly used option is the For Beginners tab. This walks you through a quick setup, having you pick a microphone, set up a camera, picking the preferred stream settings based on your internet, and finally, a couple of basic scene setups. I imagine all this is pretty basic for now. I'm sure some of it won't change as much, like the camera and the mic settings. However, something I hope to see is an auto bitrate settings that scans your internet beforehand and adjusts accordingly like other services offer. I'm not sure how many people using the beginner setting will know how to adjust these settings, so an auto setup feature would be a nice addition. Once the setup is complete, you are brought to the main preview. Here you can adjust your scene and move things around as you like and change the stream name here at the top. Moving to the left side, you can see your scene sources. Seems like there are only 10 sources allowed, but I can't imagine using many more than this for a TikTok stream. We have full screen, game, program, mobile, which we'll go over on more in a bit, video, camera, image, and text sources available. All these are pretty self-explanatory. However, there is one missing feature that most services have, which is HTML services. This is typically used for streamers to display alerts such as followers and donations with services like Stream Elements. I personally don't think HTML sources will be added whatsoever. The reason I say this is because TikTok already has alerts built into chat and donation ability directly through the app itself for users that qualify. I think that the alerts will be built into the program directly with sub settings that can be adjusted for what alerts to display, for how long, and maybe even its sound attachments requested through donations. Now, let's talk about that mobile source. Clicking it reveals you can actually connect your phone to your computer and stream content from there. However, so far the only option is Android phones, and while I did try this feature out with a Galaxy S10 Plus I had lying around, it didn't seem to want to work. I tried a couple of other phones, and I got the same result. Although I imagine this will eventually be a better implemented feature moving on forward, and a large part of the program. Moving to the top, we can see information tab that gives us frame rates, bit rates, and computer resource usage just like other programs have, typically. The bottom has a few buttons that we'll get into in a minute, the microphone volume meter, and lastly the go live button, which currently does not work. All three of these other buttons actually lead to the same setting menu. Here we can adjust our stream settings, which I am glad they offered some custom resolutions for people that want to adjust bit rate and frame rate options to better suit their internet's capabilities, because come on, you don't need 4 megabytes a second to stream 720p. Some people's internet just can't handle 4 megabytes up. Moving to the audio tab, we have some audio sliders currently limited to just two options. Maybe more will be added when a source that adds audio is added, or maybe say when your phone is casting to the software. Lastly, this program does give you the ability to record the streams you have, which is pretty cool for people that want to take full quality clips from your streams. Something I think will create a huge advantage over current streaming services like Twitch and YouTube. More thoughts on that towards the end of the video. For now, we'll move on. Exiting from the settings tab and moving on to what I think is the coolest chat implementations of any streaming service. The chat is more or less the same with the same options for moderation and things like that. However, something I think is super cool is the pop out feature. Yeah, every service can do this, but this one has one distinct setting. This chat pops out like normal and has an option to pin it. Once you pin the chat, it stays right where you put it and is non-invasive. This means wherever you click on behind the chat, you click on what's behind it, so you don't have to constantly move the chat around and change windows to see it, and so on. You can also change the opacity so it isn't so visible, or make it completely visible, completely solid. This is cool for people who only have one monitor who still wants the chat on the desktop. This is also super cool because let's say you have a clip that you want to upload to TikTok later. The chat will be in the view of the screen, and the clip will recount the almost instant playback of chat as the event is happening. This will get people to see the hype that they missed in your stream and get them to keep an eye out for the next one. All that having said, this brings me to my closing evaluation. This is probably one of the best first party streaming applications that I have ever seen. TikTok has the opportunity to make a one-stop shop for all of your media creation needs. Let's elaborate that on a bit. 
Right now, if you stream, you stream on Twitch. You wanna make a short video, you make a TikTok. A longer video, you make a YouTube video. It seems like TikTok is planning to expand and make a place where you can optimize all of these at once while retaining the same discoverability that it already has. Before, you had to try to get your audience to follow you on multiple platforms for different types of content to keep up with your creative output. Now, they only need to follow you on one platform for everything. For example, let's say you have a good stream and you have a lot of viewers. You take that clip from the stream and upload it on the same platform that you just streamed on so that people can randomly stumble across it and follow you based on that clip to see the next stream. They don't have to jump around. It's so genius. Twitch doesn't offer the same kind of clip discoverability to reach an audience while you're not streaming. Even if you uploaded your clips from Twitch onto TikTok, people aren't very likely to follow you there because they would have to bounce between different platforms. With TikTok, it is becoming a one-stop shop. It's no secret that TikTok is massive. And YouTube and Twitch need to start taking notes because TikTok isn't coming for just one of them. I believe they're striving to be the best of them. And to be honest, I'm all for it. TikTok managed to somehow create an amazing algorithm that bases your content on the communities that you like, whether it be automotive, gaming, beauty, comedy, and so on. It is so good at knowing what you like. YouTube hasn't had anything like it in ages and has a bad habit of killing creators because of it. TikTok isn't perfect by any means, but it is still young. 13 years younger than YouTube and Twitch and over 20 years younger than Facebook. That's older than every high school student and some college students. TikTok has a lot to learn, but its momentum is unfathomable. We just need to give it a little patience. With all that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video and stick around because I'm going to be uploading a lot more, making more tech-related videos, and so on. Thank you.